Sa video ito ay tatalakayin natin ang random sampling, isa sa mga topics ng Senior High School Statistics and Probability. Let us define first population and sample. Population is the set of all people, objects, events, or ideas one wish to investigate. Sample is the subgroup of a target population. Why random sampling? Random sampling ensures that the results from your sample should approximate what would have been obtained if the interpopulation had been measured. Kung nais daw nating pag-aralan ng isang population, kailangan natin ang random sampling upang ang result ng random sampling ay maging totoo sa population. Kung nais daw natin na matukoy ang totoong karakteristik ng population na kung saan ay halos walang bias, gamit tayo ng random sampling pagkuha natin ng sample. Let's now define random sampling. It is a statistical technique used in selecting people or items for research. A sample chosen randomly is meant to be unbiased representation of the total population. For other definition, random sampling is a part of the sampling technique in which each sample has an equal probability of being chosen. And it is one of the simplest forms of collecting data from a population. There are four types of random sampling. Number one is the simple random sampling. It requires using randomly generated numbers to choose a sample. The most common approach of random sampling. To illustrate simple random sampling like what you see on the picture, the four persons are selected in no particular or exact pattern. Other examples of simple random sampling are the 642, 645, 649, 655, and 658 lotto draws where all the ping pong balls with numbers will be drawn in one box or container. Number two is the systematic random sampling, a common type of random sampling in which you sample every kit element. Every sample members from a larger population are selected according to a random starting point but with a fixed periodic interval. To illustrate systematic random sampling, for example, you get the first person, you will get the other sample every other third person as you see on the illustration. For instance, you selected the second person on the same manner, you will select the fifth, the eighth, and the eleventh person to make your sample as every third. Take note that the amount of interval will be based on the size of the population. The larger the population, the larger the interval. For instance, you have 100 in your population, you can choose every 10th, every 12, every 15, or it's up to you. Another specific example of systematic random sampling is you newly opened a department store. To make your customers happy, you will give a special gift for every 50th customer. Next, number three, stratified random sampling. A type of random sampling where in the population is divided into groups based on a shared characteristics. Its group is called stratum, its plural is strata. To illustrate stratified random sampling, assuming this is the population, this population will be grouped according to its characteristics. One group for the red and another group for the blue. From that to strata, the random sampling will be conducted and the sample from these two strata is the sample by stratified random sampling. Some specific examples of stratified random sampling are the two-digit lotto where the first digit will be drawn on the first container and the second digit will be drawn on the second container as well as the three-digit lotto and the four-digit lotto. Fourth is the cluster random sampling, a type of random sampling where aim it is similar to stratified random sampling in that both begin by dividing the population into groups based on a particular characteristic. But in this, sampling survey chooses clusters at random then takes samples on them. 
further defined as a sampling method where the researcher creates multiple clusters of people from a population where they are indicative of homogeneous characteristics and have equal chance of being part of the sample. To illustrate cluster random sampling as on the figure, we have a population composed of six clusters. Each cluster has a probability of having the same or different characteristics. From these six clusters, the third and the six clusters are selected. And the four persons on this sample are selected using cluster random sampling. Again, in cluster random sampling, if person number two will be selected, we will include person number one. On the same way, if person number 9 will be selected, person number 10 will be included. Again, in cluster random sampling, if one member of the group is selected, the whole group will be selected also. Again, random sampling is very important in any research or studies in order to have a least bias on the result. Let us continue the video discussing what is a parameter and a statistic. A parameter is a fixed measure describing the whole a population. It is also a fixed a non-numerical value. While a statistic is a characteristic of a sample, a portion of a target population. A statistic is a known number and a variable which depends on the portion of the population. For further clarification, a parameter is a value describing a population, while a statistic is a value coming from a sample to describe a population. To understand further, we will do the activity identifying the parameter and a statistic. Number one, a researcher wants to estimate the average height of men ages 15 years or older. From a simple random sample of 35 men, the researcher obtains a sample mean height of 63.9 inches. From the problem, our parameter is the average height of men ages 15 years and older. This is a parameter just because it refers to the unknown totality of ages 15 years and older. The statistic on this problem is a sample mean height of 63.9 inches from a simple random sample of 35. And this is very evident from the word sample mean and simple random sample of 35, meaning it is a part of the population. Number two, an education official wants to estimate the proportion of adults aged 18 and older who had read at least one book during the previous year. A random sample of 806 adults aged 18 or older is obtained and 435 of those adults had read at least one book during the previous year. The parameter in this problem is the places that describe a population. And the parameter is proportion of adults aged 18 years and older who had read at least one book during the previous year. The statistic on this problem is the statement describing the sample. And the statistic is 435 over 806 or 0 0.54, the proportion of the sample of adults aged 18 years and older who had read at least one book during the previous year. Number three, a researcher wants to estimate the average farm size in Vincent's. From a simple random sample of 40 farms, the researcher obtains a sample mean farm size of 731 acres. The parameter is the average farm size in Vincent's. Its statistic, the mean farm size of 731 acres from the sample of 40 farms. Again, ask yourself how many. If you cannot answer the question a specific number or value, then it is describing a population, then it is a parameter. Ask yourself how many. If you can answer the question by a specific number or value, you are describing a sample, then it is a statistic. Again, kung nakatulong sa inyo ang video, please like and subscribe. At para makatulong din tayo sa iba, i-share mo rin sa kanila ang video na ito. Music